you know that the majority of pesticides that are applied to fruits and vegetables are for cosmetic reasons? What do I mean by cosmetic reasons? Let's take blueberry maggot for instance. If the fruit is infested with maggots, it renders the fruit inedible, unless you don't mind eating maggots. But there are other problems that are superficial in nature and don't really affect the overall quality of fruit in, from a standpoint of eating it. Now this is sooty blotch and fly speck. Now there's not actually any fly speck on this particular uh, apple. This is a golden delicious. But what sooty blotch is, it appears as greenish to black colored irregular spots or, or patches or what we might say blotches. And fly speck appears as black small shiny spots that are spaced farther apart. Both of these fungi occur on the surface of apples, usually together. And it may look bad, but it's not really a problem from a standpoint of eating quality. Now these individual blotches can grow together to form larger areas on the fruit, and it can really make the fruit look pretty bad. Now both of these, as I mentioned before, are fungal diseases and grow under warm, moist conditions, especially if we're having a lot of rainfall and high humidity. Now this sooty blotch and fly speck can infect the fruit from about petal fall. That's when the petals are falling off of the flowers in the spring. In Michigan, that's usually occurring in May, up until about midsummer. So generally, you're most likely to see the results of this disease about midsummer, even though the, the infection may have occurred much earlier in the, the season. And you will especially see this problem on fruits that tend to be shaded more in the interior portion of the tree as opposed to fruit on the out portion of the tree where it may tend to dry out a little faster. What can we do about this problem? One of the things that can be done is to prune your apple trees so that you open up the canopy which will increase the air circulation through it. By doing this, fruit will dry off more quickly, thereby decreasing the chances of this disease. Now, although there are fungicides available on the market, the, the best ones that are out there are not available in homeowner sizes. For instance, uh, there's one called Flint, and it works very well and highly rated for this particular disease, but you have to buy for larger quantities of it. And in this case, it's gonna cost you over $200 just for 20 ounces. So, that's out for most people. Now there are some org organic options that you can try. One is called sulfur and the other is called calagreen and it's also uh, called potassium bicarbonate. There are some other names like remedy that are out there and they will tend to damage the fruit a little bit with some russeting and the results can be variable from year to year so it's not going to be something that's going to solve all of the problems. One of the nice things about this disease is it can be scrubbed off. When you're washing your apple, just use something that's mildly abrasive. And, and I'm not talking about uh, detergent or anything like that. I'm just talking about a uh, rough washcloth or, or something that you would normally get food off of your dishes with. And that will clean it up very well. Also, all you need to do is peel the apple if you're processing them and your problem's over. Because as I mentioned before, it's a superficial problem.